They have Kamala Harris to fall back on, guys. Fear not. Here she was at Howard University. All right, now, <laughs> she's actually giving a speech, believe it or not, on reproductive rights. Listen. So I think it's very important, as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, <laughs> and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So Noah, you're good with the words. This is your thing, your fancy words. You should, you must be inspired by that. I mean, there's a thing that good litigators can do where, as you know, Megan, where they can say absolutely nothing, but say it in a way that makes you think something very profound was related. She's the opposite. She says a lot of nothing, and you just you glaze over with the understanding that what you're hearing is pablum. And that was pablum. This is one of the reasons yeah. why she was such an ineffective legislator, why she would she would make accusations and insinuations when she was in the Senate that would go absolutely nowhere, would be dazzle Democrats. Like the notion here that, you know, uh, Brett Kavanaugh took this crazy meeting with Trump's lawyers. Whatever happened to that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing ever happened to that. It let you down. She's a giant letdown. Very consistent on her part, though. There, There's nothing of substance there, MVD. I think we need to hear it again. Let's hear it again, just to enjoy it one more time. So I think it's very important as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. Oh my God. <laughs> doesn't improve. I gave it another shot. From, uh, what was the quote from Billy Madison? At no point <laughs> in your rambling, incoherent response <laughs> were you ever even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone <laughs> in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no <laughs> points and may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, that is <laughs> astonishing. Uh, and utterly vacuous and it actually it does speak it, it does speak to actually something bigger that is happening right there's the lack of joe biden's accomplishments as president there's the lack of kamala harris's coherence as a speaker or a human being uh <laughs> a, a, a rational creature uh and it's part of the reason why the the announcement of joe biden's re-election was the way it was it it was just we are a stand-in for liberal values. That's it, right? I'm not saying we've accomplished much, but we're for abortion. We're against the kind of cultural stuff that the Republicans are doing in schools and not, you know, uh, on, on trans issues. We're for diversity. And it's basically a giant bet. And it's and it actually is going to be a gut check for the right going into 2024. The, Democrats are betting that 2024 is a liberal values voters election and that this is fundamentally a center left country in the way that 20 years ago, all the pundits said this uh, in 20, 2004, this was a values voters election and America is a center right country. That's their bet. It is a huge bet. A lot fo follows from it. And it's a gut check for Republicans is can you offer something, a governing vision that is more compelling? than just we're standing by center-left liberal values. We're standing by the Fauci statues, the Rochelle Walensky uh, commemorative name plaques, and the uh, mm. other tchotchkes that you get on the Upper West Side. Can you mm. offer something more compelling than that? We'll see. Like many people, I am eating healthier, and that's why I love good olive oil. And by good, I mean fresh. Olive oil packs the most flavor and healthiest nutrients when it's fresh from the farm. And that's the problem with the supermarket olive oils. They're not fresh. They can sit on the shelf for many, many months growing stale. That's why I like my olive oil direct from small award-winning farms, thanks to a guy named T. 
TJ Robinson, also known as the olive oil hunter. When I tasted TJ's farm fresh oils, I fell in love with their vibrant, grassy flavors. They're delicious on salad, veggies, pasta, meat, fish, you name it. As an intro to his fresh pressed olive oil club, TJ's willing to send you a full size $39 bottle of one of the world's finest artisanal olive oils for just $1 to help him cover shipping. Best of all, there is never a commitment to buy anything, and you can cancel your membership at any time. Get your free $39 bottle for just $1 shipping and taste the difference freshness makes. Go to harvestfreshnow.com, harvestfreshnow.com for a free bottle and pay just $1 in shipping. Harvestfreshnow.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.